Hello, my name's Matthew Allen and I live in a cargo van that I converted into a full-time livable home and I have been doing so since October 18th, 2021. I got my van back in March of 2021 and ever since then I have been cataloging my entire experience and turning out videos here on YouTube. Everything from the build to camping trips to living in my van and what it's like day to day in a major city and out in the mountains and wherever else I may find myself. Shortly after I was so fortunate enough to have my channel take off, it was suggested to me to create a Patreon account. And lately I've been hearing a few people ask, what is Patreon? So for those people and others who may know of Patreon but still have questions, this might be for you. Patreon is a completely separate third-party entity not connected to YouTube at all and it is a way for people like you to support content creators like myself financially. You can come over there, you can create an account, join my Patreon, choose how much you would like to pledge every month and enjoy some fringe benefits along with the fact that you're you know, supporting what I'm doing here on YouTube. We all have heard the horror stories of ad revenue in YouTube and how that all works and YouTube taking too much money and this, that, and the other thing. I'm not gonna get into that here, although yes, it's basically true. So Patreon is a nice alternative way for a creator like myself to make a little bit more income based on what they are producing. And along with the fact that you would be supporting that, you also get additional content, stuff like daily updates in real time from me, as well as my photography posts, musical selections that I share with everybody, and more recently, Patreon exclusive vlogs. Those vlogs aren't something I've been doing since the beginning. I only recently started it and we are actually up to four so far over on Patreon. And I thought now would be a good time to share with everyone here on YouTube the very first vlog that I shot for my Patreon community. Absolutely in the hopes of potentially enticing more people to come over and support what I'm doing. And I know there's going to be people out there that are going to hum and haw and call me out and say, oh, you're just, you're just, you're just trying to sell yourself. You're just trying to make a buck. How dare you this? How dare you that? And you know what? That's fine. You can think that everybody's entitled to their opinion. Like my bumper sticker says, I just don't want to hear it. You don't have to join. If you can't join, that's fine. You're still going to get the same content here on YouTube that I have always been putting out. But I thought to myself the other day, if I actually want to do this and commit myself to this, I need to be able to promote myself. And if you can't promote yourself, I mean, you, you probably shouldn't be working for yourself. So... At the end of the day, here's an extra vlog for everyone to watch. Well, except for the people over on Patreon that have already seen it, but I digress. Something for you to watch while I put the finishing touches on the next vlog. And hey, if you decide at the end of it, yeah, I want to come over to Patreon and support this guy, I, I would say thank you very much for doing so. If you do come to Patreon, you will see that there are multiple tiers laid out. The way I run my Patreon, whether you join the $1 tier or the, what, $25 tier, or if you pledge any amount in between or beyond, you get the same exact content as everybody on Patreon. With that being said, please enjoy the vlog, and I will see you all in the next one. How's it going, Patreon? I hope you guys are all doing well. And yeah, welcome to my first Patreon exclusive vlog, which I know what you're probably thinking. Oh boy, now he's really gonna spread himself thin. I hope not. I don't think these ones will be, at least here at the start, as long or as epic, grandiose, whatever you wanna say in their scope or scale, but I do, I know, sorry, am I talking too loudly? Shut up, darling. I've, for a while now, been rolling around the idea in my head of wanting to do just a little bit more here on Patreon. And I know that uh, a lot of, if not all of you, uh, unanimously agree that I do far more than expected here on Patreon between my posts and my lens clips and everything. And those aren't going to stop or change or anything like that. But as I've been talking recently and being very candid about the fact that I do want to be doing this full time, I... That was what sort of nudged me over the edge into wanting to just really show my appreciation and give back even more to you all who have gone above and beyond in showing 
your support for what it is that I'm doing. And this is a very strong community here. And the community on YouTube is, I'd say, just as strong. But um, I just I really appreciate that you all have gone that extra mile to show your support, right? So we won't dwell on that any longer. I'm just getting settled here for the evening. Uh, this is the day that I installed the new diesel heater because the fan on the old one was just kept me up all night last night pretty much. But as you can hear, this one's a lot better. So I'm praying for a much better night's sleep. But before I get to that, there are a few like housekeeping things I wanna get done around here. Uh, first and foremost, like this is the old diesel heater right here. I don't wanna flip it around too much lest a whole bunch of diesel comes spewing out. You can see, ooh, well used for sure. I'll probably, I've got the fan from Amber's old heater uh, down there as well. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm, either gonna, I'm probably gonna take this into the shop tomorrow to store it, or I'll keep it in Lucky and actually get to the filming of this tomorrow. I wanna do part of the next vlog maybe, swapping the fan out and talking about the heater situation because if you were paying attention, you know that I didn't do any filming while I was installing a diesel heater, which is kind of funny because I didn't do any filming when I first installed the diesel heater because it's just one of those jobs that just, it's so intricate and specific and because of the location there's like so much to require to move everything out from underneath the bed and fold up my bed it's a job that i just want to get done once i started and i don't really want to film those shenanigans hey yeah. <laughs> uh, so that'll probably be in a future vlog maybe the next one although the next vlog that's going to come out actually i don't know depending on when i edit this and release this for you all to see the next vlog number 40 should be going live February 1st. That's my plan to kick that off. And then I'm also, as I mentioned on my live stream, going to be doing a month long vlog throughout February uh, and keeping track of all of my expenses in the van. And I'm also going to reduce my, let's call it extravagant spending of things and just see what it might be like for someone who has to live in a van and can't afford anything outside of the absolute necessities. So I'll try to get a ballpark figure for people uh, by the end of February. And yes, I chose the shortest month on purpose. And now also something I did today, ouch, bye-bye. Come down here for a second, let's see. Oh yeah, great. Let's close this. Got, yeah, my soda stream here and a bunch of other stuff that was in this cupboard. Ooh which of course we call the water station around these places. I got rid of one of my jerry cans and I actually left it at Lindsay's in the backyard. Uh, sorry, Lindsay, I wanna clean up this area. I needed more storage for stuff. I'm carrying my buddy heater around with me now these days as backup because it's just so darn cold. And there's just a couple more odds and ends that would benefit from having a place to go. And this space was being taken up by two big, what are these, 25 liter jerry cans of extra diesel. This one's still full. That one I used, ripped through. I'm praying that there won't actually be a diesel shortage, obviously. More to the topic of leaving stuff at Lindsay's, I have also been seriously considering lately that I should probably get a storage unit. They're not too expensive, but I do have a few things that would be nice to just put there that are then out of Lindsay's hair, then I have a place to go to, to keep, to keep them. And I'm not just constantly piling crap into her house. Funny story, right around the time that I moved into the van and Lindsay and I sort of brokered the deal, and by brokered a deal, basically it was, you can come over and use my shower and bring your kid here anytime you want. Thank you, Lindsay. That's something I'll probably be looking at doing and taking care of in the near future. Something that's simple, like 50, 60 bucks a month, bucks a month, bucks a month. Hopefully. Are you starved for attention? What's going on? Hi. You a little crazy? Mm-hmm. So anyways, I'm gonna get this area cleaned out and then get some stuff put in there. I could also probably put the diesel heater in there so it's out of my way and I'm not tripping over it in case I need to get up in the middle of the night for like a, a pee or something. It happens. All right, so I'm gonna grab my trusty vacuum. Bring that over here. Hi, Penny. Yep, quick, you haven't eaten in five minutes. You better get at it. This place is a disaster. You can look at Penny while I vacuum. I guess she wasn't interested in that plan. Oh! 
Holy vey. Okay, so I got that cleaned out a little bit, looking a little bit better. Eesh, what is that? Eh, the schmutz in a van. It's just the way it is. So if you are new around here, either on Patreon or my channel on YouTube in general, this is called my water station. I used to have running water. I used to use two big jugs, uh, and they actually piped through that white hose down there and up and came out my little faucet right here. I got rid of that system a while ago just because I found it so much easier to use bottled water once I got my fridge, which I'm now using as a poop bucket altar, clearly. So I've still got my gray water tank, which is just an, one of those old water bottles that I just modified. And by modified, I mean I cut a big ass hole in the lid and then I got a faucet attachment for this stainless steel bowl and drill the hole in the bowl. So I still have my sink because I'm a big believer in having the gray water system. It's just so handy for brushing your teeth and whatnot. It's also a good like bowl to put all of my ice when I'm having a highball evening. Very handy. I also have my first aid kit in here. This is my fuel pump for my diesel heater. That's obviously the fuel line. It runs all the way over here and out to the fuel tank and then F's off that way to the actual heater itself. So yeah, it's ticking away. The whole ticking of the fuel pump, I know it drives people crazy and people have been trying to come up with solutions left, right, and center with like silent pumps or wrapping them in insulation and foam and all every other damn thing. I got used to it after about a week, I think. You just kind of, you drown that out. You're coming back. There's so many changes happening. Moving stuff around in the van, shooting exclusively for Patreon. What's going on with the world? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. But yeah, so now let me see. Well, how can we organize some of this stuff? Get the buddy. Let's put the buddy in here. Oh look, yeah, the buddy's so big that it's done. Space is filled. Obviously, I'm kidding. Let's get soda stream. I this is the next thing to possibly go. It has been a hot minute since I've used this. I don't know. If I will again. Now, can these doors still close? If the soda stream sticks out there. Oh, heck yeah. I got this protein powder that was sent to me by a subscriber. You know who you are. I need to start drinking it a little bit more. I've had a couple and it's really good. It's salted caramel flavor. I really like it in milk and I just got in from Walmart and I did not buy any milk. Hashtag sad day. Um, ooh, these stupid pans that I really only use during the camping season. I bought this last one at Bow Valley. And the other one's my cast iron that my mom gave me years ago, obviously. Those, both those pans have done their fair share of taco beef making. Eh, that's not, that's not too bad. As long as it's not touching the fuel line, we should be good. Not that just touching the fuel line is a, is a, is a problem. I am not going to be able to fit the diesel heater in here. This is going to be like a boom full situation. Maybe the space heater stays out. Cause like the buddy's like the backup backup when I'm in like the bush with no power. Spoiler alerts for the upcoming vlog that I actually found, I didn't find. I went back to a parking lot that I featured way earlier on the vlog uh, that costs $5 a night and has power. That's where I was doing the live stream that we just did. Uh, well, at this point, it was last night. She's like, shut up and go to bed. Get that light out of my damn face. Stop policing me. So sassy. This may be a bad decision. Does vinegar freeze? Maybe we just put this here. That way maybe the heat will get at it through the hole we made. I call that my hot hole. I don't actually call it that. Everybody just calm down. Ew, gross. I still haven't cleaned my Ridge Monkey from the live stream. Hey, look at the new controller that came with the diesel heater. It's all red. That's kind of cool and funky. These things are actually different depending on the style of controller you get. I think this one's a little bit more basic, but it's not as basic as like the new, new heaters, like the one that Amber has. It's just very rudimentary. I, I don't know. You don't, you can't even get in and change altitude settings and stuff. I can still on this one. That actually might be what I do tonight. If I don't get distracted by my lovely TV and setting up my Nintendo Switch. I'm not even sorry if that happens. All right. How much of the TV is in that shot? I don't even know. Can't see. An external monitor is what I need so I can actually see. I'm just kidding. I don't need one of those. I am, however, going to pop some melatonin and also probably some Robaxacet and pray to the gods of good sleep that I get one of those tonight. Mmm. Tastes like berries. Oh, so I've got a few more things to go back in the, what is now the new storage closet. Hashtag exciting. I tell you, every time you make a little change in the tiny home like that, it really does just sort of like boost your morale and you get all excited and you feel very confident. Confident? Accomplished. That's the word I was looking for. You may be confident to wake up and 
face yet another day. Are you going to make the jump? Is that what you're about to do? Do it. Do it. Nailed it. All right, fine. Twist my rubber arm. Oh, you guys probably need uh, some new water. Ooh, maybe I could double up and have some z -Quil. That might be overkill. You guys need some fresh water? Let's do it. Get all the junk out of the sink. See, reason 4,098 to have a sink in the van, when you, especially when you have animals. Bye-bye, old grungy water. Let's, uh, let's give that an old swiffy swap. Nice and dry. Pinch the camera between your legs. That will work. There we go. Water for the kitties. Fill her up. Moo! Sorry, was that offensive? <laughs> Let me move my glasses for you, dainty stepper. What else did I want to do? I don't even bloody know. I have to take all of my stuff out of my bag. This is pretty much the nightly routine for me. This is what I'm doing in, in between sending you all of those lens clips that I usually do. <clears throat> Which I know I don't... The consistency's not there, I know. Switch dock. I gotta get that wired into my TV. Hello. Oh, also, ooh, check this out. I was gonna share this on a lens clip earlier, but I just couldn't resist. Went to the laundromat today after I finished working on the diesel heater uh, because unfortunately Brooklyn had gone down for her nap. So I had to wait till the little monkey woke up. Uh, so I thought, okay, well, go take advantage of that. Go to the laundromat. I washed my <clears throat> puke blanket. Not my puke blanket. Yikes. I did that and my bag of laundry that I had. And then I went to kill some time over at the buy and sell store here in Calgary. And I found this bad boy there for like $50. That might sound like a lot of money, but it's all 10 seasons of friends. And I don't know. I know I don't talk about it that much, uh, exclusively on the vlog, but I do make reference to this show quite a bit as Andrew will attest to. And I just thought that I couldn't say no. And I actually cleared out a bunch of my DVD cases up here last night because I got a DVD wallet, and Amber actually found it at a thrift store. It's, where is it? Show it off here. Look at that. It's my favorite Smash Brothers character. Samus Aaron. But it's just one of those CD wallets. It was probably for like the Wii or Wii U games. It holds 12 movies, so I put a bunch of movies in here to reduce space up here. Now I'm just gonna fill that space with my friends. That sounded very sad. I think that's all I need from here, so we're gonna do the good old truffle shuffle that happens every night. Try to not knock your poop bucket around. It's it's ungodly. Got my electronics bag. Get that to the front seat. And I don't actually have to move the puke blanket tonight because it hasn't been puked on yet. So I can actually use it for snuggles until somebody ruins it. Is that somebody you? I don't know, is she even back there? No, she's at the front. There's nobody there. She's right there, clearly judging me. Same to you, lady. So I'm not going to go on too much longer with this, because again, I, I do take to heart the concerns that are shared with me about burning out and every other thing. Um, so we'll keep this first Patreon exclusive shorter than what will probably be normal going forward, or maybe, the, maybe they're perfect like this. Who knows? Um, if I'm being honest, uh, again, about wh why I'm doing this, I do want to give back to you, but I also, also want to attract more people over here because I think this will end up being one of the more stable ways to earn income doing what I'm doing. And if I can prove to myself that I can make this consistent, then maybe I'll end up releasing this first vlog. Sounds weird with how many vlogs I've actually shot. Maybe I'll release this on YouTube in a couple months time and then add on a little segment of me saying there's this and many more over on Patreon. You always kind of got to be thinking into the future on how you can entice people and sweeten the pot, so to think, so to think, so to say, so to be, so to pop. I know it wasn't that funny, shush, you judgy McJudgerson. So anyways, uh, yeah, we'll leave this one here. Just a quick, uh, just a quick thank you, a quick hangout with me in the van. I uh, hope you are all having a fantastic evening, day, morning, whenever it is when you're watching this. Uh, and we will change up the sign off just for uh, shits and giggles, as they say. Until the next one, go out there, be happy. It drives people crazy. Now, do I put the actual end ditty here? Because there's not really any point in having an end card.